channel gypsies omad life so i'm here to do a recipe for you guys today this is something new i'm trying to add a few more veggies in my diet a little a little bit um so i'm gonna make a new recipe it's called crispy smashed brussels sprouts i saw the recipe on um i think it was instagram reels and it's a low carb uh veggie dish and it's going to be really good so i'm just going to show you guys if you like brussels sprouts even if you don't like brussels sprouts this may be really good so i got a pound of brussels sprouts here that i need to work trim on and stuff um it takes two tablespoons of olive oil which i have here one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar one teaspoon of garlic powder salt and pepper to taste and one half a cup of parmesan cheese which i have right here so i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down here so you guys can see what i'm doing and the first thing is going to consist of trimming up all of these brussels sprouts so i'm gonna go ahead and set the cheese to the side the salt and pepper garlic powder oops garlic powder and all that stuff so um what I'm going to do after I trim these, I'm going to put them all in this colander and then I'm going to wash them. So I'm just going to leave that colander right there. I have a pot of water here that I need to salt. This is to cook the Brussels sprouts until they are kind of tender about 10 minutes. And then we're going to take them out and I'm going to show you what's next. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim the ends off of these bad boys. And I'm going to go ahead and put this down just a little bit more so you can see better. Let's see, I'm going to just dump about half a bag out and at a time and hopefully they won't try to run away all right so i have this bowl sitting here that's going to be for my scraps as i'm trimming so i have this knife knife here so what i'm going to do is trim the end off for that little end and any leaves that come off will, will go as well i'm going to leave them whole because we're going to smash them so basically, trim the end, I'll do a few and then I'll pause it while I finish. If none of them don't come off with me moving it around, I'm just not worrying about it because they, that one's just cruddy looking, let's see. If I roll them around and they come off, they go. But definitely that tip right there is what I'm cutting off. Okay. One more. Okay. Be right back after I get all these done. Okay, guys. I've trimmed them all and I rinsed them off in the colander. So I'm just going to dump them in my boiling water over here. And put that to the side so I can drain them when they're all finished. And I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. And we'll look at them when, let's see if they're fork tender after 10 minutes. Also, I have the oven preheated to 390, which I thought was kind of weird, but oh well, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. So oven preheated to 390. And I'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll see how fork tender these are. Okay, guys, it's been about nine minutes. So what I'm going to do is test one of these big ones because I got a lot of uh, little ones and not too many big ones. So that is pretty fork tender. I think there, it's mainly to where um, you have to get them to where they'll be able to be smashed easily. That was one of my biggest ones. Let me check one more. I know this pan looks ridiculous, but it's clean, I promise. All right, so pretty much, I'm gonna let this minute finish out, and then I'm gonna drain them and pour them on this pan, and I'll be back to show you what I do next. Okay, guys, I've drained them, and it said to let them rest in the colander for five minutes, and they'll finish steaming. So I'm gonna do that, so I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, guys, so it's been four minutes. I am in a little bit of a rush, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and put these Brussels sprouts in here on this pan, and then I'm going to go ahead and drizzle over two tablespoons of the olive oil, just right on top, 
One and two. Okay, and oops, I still need that. One tablespoon of the balsamic vinegar, which I'm going to give a good shake. Jeez. Okay. Well, maybe. Oh, it smells like vinegar. Okay. Got one tablespoon. Okay. Now I'm going to do one teaspoon of the garlic powder. There was that last minute. This right here is a, a half of a tablespoon, which is like one and a half um, teaspoons, but I'm just not going to do it fully full. About like that. Just going to sprinkle them over there. Okay, and now just some salt and pepper. And then we're going to stir them up some. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Woo. Okay, so I'm just going to take this fork and just move it around a little bit there. Make sure everything's coated with oil and vinegar. And then I've got a cup here. They showed a jar, but I'm going to use a cup. Gonna be good enough. Okay. Seems good to me. Alright. So I'm gonna push them all back there a little bit and then what I'm gonna do, I have this cup here. I'm gonna use the bottom of this cup to smash these. So I'm just gonna drag one up, smash, and just leave it. And I'm gonna do them all like that. And I'm I think I'm gonna have to use two hands though. They're not gonna be gorgeous, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so any of the leaves and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put, like, up the side there. Because I love crispy uh, Brussels sprout leaves. So I'm going to smash all of these, and then I'll be right back to show you guys what's next. Okay, guys, I have them all smashed. I've opened up my Parmesan cheese. So basically, I'm just going to sprinkle each one with just a little bit of cheese. Just make sure each one has some on there and then we'll stick it in the oven 390 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until it it the cheese is crisp and golden brown that's what we're going to look for whenever we check them out so i think it's going to be really good especially with that balsamic vinegar it smells awesome I'm just putting tiny pinches on each one. Uh oh, I think I forgot to smash that. One. I'll just get it like that. Some of them, these are these were ended up being the tiniest Brussels sprouts I've ever seen. So doesn't matter. They're still going to be scrumptious. Hopefully, I didn't miss any. I think I even put some on those leaves. <laughs> All right. Let me grab a couple of them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and look. And see how it's doing. Oh. Still hard? Okay. I think I took that off. Okay. Timer. Okay. All right. 20 minutes. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. It's been about 21 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out of the oven because I think they're finished. And they look pretty darn amazing, if I do say so myself. So, there they are. That's going to be my side dish. I'm going to make me some uh, chicken thighs to go with that. You can have whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to do a quick taste test on one of these. I'll be right back when it cools just a tad. Okay, guys. I'm blowing it. It looks absolutely amazing. They're super tender. And I can't wait to try it. Mmm. It's so good. Ooh. It's a little bit of trouble. But 
well worth it. Absolutely love it. Would totally recommend it. Even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, I think that these would definitely go over good because they are super tasty. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be bringing you guys more cooking videos and in the weeks to come, I'm going to be trying out new things, new veggies, new side dishes, new main dishes, and every time I try a new one, I'll bring it to you as well. So, I can share the recipe because this one is really awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.